What went through your mind when you watched and listened to that video message? Two things, really. What a courageous young woman she is. How very brave to make a video message like that. Um, she didn't have to, um, but she did that partly because I think of all the ridiculous, absurd theories that have been going around on the internet. And that really is my second thought. It is, it is that I hope that those social media trolls who have peddled such ghastly, hurtful theories will now realise what they've done and be absolutely ashamed of themselves. And I hope we'll all take pause for thought and not be led by the nose uh, by what goes on social media. But I think we should think, what a brave young woman. Um, she obviously has, has got a bit of a battle ahead. She's just been trying to keep her family together, get, keep her thoughts together, look after those, those precious children. Um, and my heart absolutely goes out to her. And I think that everyone's um, estimation of her will go sky high now. Uh, she absolutely has a right, doesn't she, to privacy, especially over sensitive medical issues. But do you think the Palace have made this decision because of all that pressure you mentioned, because of those online trolls? Yes, probably. And I don't think she should ever have felt that she was required to go sit in front of a camera and make a statement about her health. Um, but I think that she has been pressured by, by the media um, into doing that. But she is a strong woman. I mean, I think we look on the very bright side here. Um, she says she's going to be OK. She's, she's uh, getting stronger every day. She's looking forward to getting back to work, but she needs more time. She'll obviously need quite a lot of time. Um, I, I thought that she looked um, as beautiful as ever, rather, rather pale. Um, and obviously the chemotherapy is going to take its toll. But her absolute priority will be those children. And just think what they've all been going through in these past, past few weeks. Think of William going out and doing his work, taking on some of his father's uh, burden of work as well, doing it as cheerfully as he can. Um, and then going home, hopefully, to get his kids from school and comfort his wife. What pressure the man has been un under. And he just took one tiny day off, which was essentially a private engagement service for ex King Constantine. Um, and he got really massacred for that. You know, why did you pull out? It, I just feel the whole family's been under such pressure, and her parents as well have been going through it, obviously. Um, I think we absolutely must give them all now the time and space, and a, as much time and space as they want and need. And, of course, we have seen uh, those allegations of her medical records being looked at. We saw uh, the huge row over the doctoring of that photograph as well. And, I mean, this will uh, help people understand, perhaps, why she felt the need to do that. Well, you know, I'm sure she must feel assaulted from all sides. Um, and I think we as a society should feel utterly ashamed of ourselves, actually. Um, this is a woman who has had a major setback in the prime of life. Um, and we have not treated her with the uh, kindness that she deserves. And I think we should take stock of that and forthwith be as kind as we possibly can to her. She's a very brave young woman. And we now have a situation, of course, Jenny, where uh, two senior members of the royal family, the King and the Princess of Wales, both announcing that they have cancer, both undergoing treatment at the same time. Yes, it's a, a very extraordinary situation, a very sad situation for the family. Um, but I'm sure they will gain some strength from one another, actually. The King and Catherine have always been very close, full of admiration, one for the other. Um, and they're going through this together. So I suppose that may be some comfort to them. And uh, what we must do now is let them do that and gather their strength and get on with their recovery. Of course. And for other members of the royal family, well, they will be rallying round, as they have with the king, and uh, stepping up when it comes to, to their royal duties and, and helping out where necessary. 
Yeah, and you've got pictures there of Queen Camilla, and I think uh, you know, hats off to her as well because she's been uh, she's been taking on a really heavy workload and travelling all over the place, Northern Ireland, the Isle of Man, around the country, and all the time knowing that um, you know her husband's going through treatment and knowing as well what Catherine's been going through, um, and seeing the pressure that that whole family's been under. So I think she's been doing a fantastic job, and uh, we must admire her for it.